Well, this is actually the eighth in a series of unexplained deaths amongst senior uh, oil and gas executives and uh, other senior business people in, in Russia this year. Um, I mean, it's really quite unusual to have so many people apparently uh, dying of suicide. Uh, these are people at the top of their game. Uh, Ravel Maganov, um, who was 67 years old, just uh, two, three years ago was given a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Kremlin in a ceremony by uh, President uh, Vladimir Putin. So it's really quite unusual. And, and there is there is Russian form in the past on uh, sudden and unexplained deaths, um, quite often by defenestration, as uh, is the case of um, possibly the case of Magnanov, who fell from from a window. Um, so it's it's really difficult to say what's going on. But I mean, some of these deaths have have really been quite unusual. I mean, there was a, a former top manager at a liquefied natural gas producer, Novatek, a chap called Sergei uh, Protosoyena. Uh, he was found dead at his villa in Spain in April um, with his wife and daughter. Now, uh, Catalan regional police uh, believe that he killed them and took his own life. But um, the, the wife and daughter died with stab wounds. Uh, apparently, uh, Protsenov hanged himself. Um, it just kind of beggars belief that there have been so many deaths, uh, particularly we now have two from Lukoil, which came out against Russia's war on Ukraine um, in March in a statement that they made.